Hi guys, this is Elizabeth from ELTS Adventures coming at you today with the very first video of my Cruise Topics Weekly um, series that I'm doing. Um, if you guys watched the introduction video, um, or even if you didn't, I'm going to explain what I'm doing again. Um, so I have in I have this bucket, and I have, I didn't count how many topics, I have probably at least maybe 10, 15 um, or so different topics related to the cruise industry, um, going on cruises. Um, and it's things that people typically, you know, you see on these Facebook groups, they kind of lose their mind over these topics. You know, people, everybody has different opinions and everybody thinks that their opinions are the right and, or wrong. Um, so I'm going to be, um, I'm going to read the topics out to you guys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up, um, I'll fold them up, shuffle the bucket around, pick one topic out, and then I'm just going to give my opinion on that topic. Um, and you guys feel free at the end, um, after you've watched the video, to um, comment your opinion or, um, you know, give me some tips and tricks on maybe how to make these, um, these types of videos a little bit more interesting. Um, but I saw this, I kind of got this idea from watching several different channels. Um, I watch Lolito Loca a lot and they do a Cruise War series where um, Tony and Jenny they um they do the same concept they have different topics they have a cruising community facebook page and they get their their topics and questions from their facebook community group um and what they do is they actually pick two or three topics out of a, a bowl each week um and they between the two of them they roll a dice and then one of them will argue for the topic and then one of them will argue against the topic and then at the end they tell like their real opinion on it um, but I'm not going to do like any cruise war type things. I'm just going to pick a topic out of the bucket and give my opinion on it and then allow you guys at the end of the video after you've watched it, you guys can comment um, below and just tell me how you feel about the topic and you know what your advice is for someone that kind of has these same questions. So I'm going to read the topics out to you guys. Again, I'm not sure how many I have. Um, first one is should you prepay your gratuities? Okay, the second one, should there be a specific dress code in the main dining room? Okay, third one, should you purchase the drink package? Now, when I say the drink package, I'm referring to the soda program and or the, um, the cheers program as well. So I'm going to mention both of those if I get this time. Okay, should the ship wait for you at port if you are not on time? Should cruise lines allow bottled water in your carry-on? Should I purchase an internet package? Should there be a limit on alcoholic beverages that you can consume each day on your cruise? Should I try the specialty dining restaurants even though there are plenty of options that are free include, that are included in your cruise fare? Should I cruise during hurricane season? Should I purchase pictures through the cruise line? Should there be assigned seating in the main dining room? Should you travel to the cruise port on the day of your cruise? Should I bring valuables and or valuable jewelry on board with me? Should you decorate your stateroom door? Should I park at the port or do a parking cruise package at a hotel? And two more, actually no, three more. Should I use the provided towels for the pool or bring my own? Should I get a passport? And lastly, do I really have to get travel insurance? 
or another way to rephrase that question is should I get travel insurance? All right, so again, I'm just gonna mix them up. And I'm just gonna do one. Um, and what I'll do is um, every week, um, as I draw one out, like the following week, I'll add a new one in there. So that way I always have the same amount in here. And what I'll do is um, each week I'll take them out of the bucket, you know, and read them all again and then tell you the new one. All right, so the first topic for the very first Cruise Tips Weekly is should you travel to the cruise port on the day of your cruise? Okay, in my so, opinion, you should not travel to the cruise port on the day of your cruise. Um, even if you're driving, some people say that if you're driving, um, it would be okay to do that. But me personally, um, I just would prefer um, to go down at least one day before your cruise. Even if you go down like the night before, um, it's best to get, you know, at least one night of sleep before you get on your cruise ship so and not only that but if it's somewhere that you've never been to like for instance um with this first cruise we're going out of charleston i've been to charleston one time my fiance has never been to charleston so if us going down one day ahead of time we plan on leaving out early the day before so like 8 9 a.m um the day before our cruise actually leaves out of charleston um and that will give us a full day um to explore charleston you know maybe go and um, see some things that we've never seen before um, or just you know it gives us a chance to just relax and you get excited I guess about the cruise because you're in the the port city that you're leaving out of um, and not only that but if you let's say you, you know like for us we live it's gonna take us three hours to get down to Charleston and I know that's not a long way um, and we could really, you know, leave early the morning of our cruise, you know, around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and get down there about 10 or 11 and then um, just kind of find something to do until about 12 until we get on the boat. Okay, that's cool, but we're going to be exhausted from driving because it's in at the end of May, so it's going to be hot. We're going to be tired from the job. We're not, you know, um, so I just feel like me personally, I prefer to go down at least one day before some people if they fly or something they'll go down like two or three days before and another thing that we plan on doing is the day that our cruise gets back so like we're going from may 27th of next year to june 1st um so when we come back on june 1st we're going to get off the ship um we may or may not eat breakfast on the cruise ship but if we don't eat breakfast on the cruise ship we'll go somewhere and have breakfast um and then we may find something to do in charleston um and then we're also actually gonna go um to my hometown where i'm from um called loris south carolina and we're probably gonna like stay the night with my dad or something you know so we're not gonna drive straight home the day after either because we, we may or may not have gotten a lot of sleep you know because you have to you have to pack up your your luggage and stuff the night before put it outside your door um and of course the last night of your cruise you really want to make sure that you've enjoyed yourself and you you know you might want to do a little extra stuff on your last night um and so you may sleep a little less than what you have been sleeping the entire rest of the cruise so and i want to make sure like i know i don't know about everyone else but i'm not a morning person that much i mean i'm sure on this cruise i'll wake up early in the mornings because it's something that i've never done before i've never been on a cruise um, but I, you know, us having to wake up super early on the morning that the cruise actually gets back to the port, um, you know, I'm going to want to at least take a nap or something before we drive our three hours back home. So we decided that we're probably going to just end up staying with my dad, um, that night or, you know, like that day that we get back from the cruise and stay that night and then head home on the second. Then if you don't have travel insurance, then you're not going to get any of that money back. So that's, you know, that would be for us like $1,800 that we won't get back that's just been wasted because we you know waited until the last minute that we possibly could to travel down to the cruise port so you never want to take that chance um, but again this is all just my personal opinion I personally will never wait until the day of my cruise to travel um, down to the port I'm always going to leave at least a day early so um